Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. My name is Ronnie. If you're new to this channel, I talk about personal finance, creating side hustle, money, investing, and everything in between. So in today's videos, um, somebody asked me um, regarding my side hustle. Um, how did I start this? So in this particular instance, I'm talking about my eBay business. So in the past few months, well, in the beginning of 2020, um, I've started to open up an eBay store um, to see how much can you actually make money, uh, see if you can make money. So in the past 90 days, on the other hand, I've created somewhere in the vicinity just uh, 17,000 in sales, um, uh, revenue that is, so in sales. So. I like round numbers, so I'm gonna put that down to fifteen thousand. So, at fifteen thousand, granted that I only work roughly about two hours, two to three hours a day, I was able to manage to receive fifteen thousand in the past ninety days. So, let's assume that sixty percent of that is um, administration, whether it's buying the product packaging, posting, um, fees that comes with um, running a business, running an eBay business. Um, so everything else, like they're, they're all administration costs. Um, let's assume that 30% of that is actually what I take home. So that would mean I would be making roughly about $5,000 in the past 90 days. Now it might not sound much, but $5,000 over 90 days, um, it could be a life changing for people. And this person asking me, how did it all start? To be honest with you, I never actually take a notice of it. I just start. <laughs> um, so in this video, I'll see if I can give you guys the steps, how I go um, to do it. So first of all, uh, and I'm sure you guys heard of eBay before, if you haven't, if you haven't beforehand, then eBay is just a platform where you can buy product and ship it into uh, your home. Um, as a consumer, it's one of one of the biggest e-commerce platform, let's say, uh, where you can, um, if you're as, as a buyer, you can buy a lot of stuff, ship it in, um, and people get, I guess, star rating, rate either you as the buyer or you as a seller. Now, the other version of it, because I was buying a lot of stuff on eBay, uh, predominantly most of the stuff that I buy is international, um, so that's uh, it takes a lot longer compared to domestic. Um, I never thought of um, thought of the idea of me selling stuff. Or I think it's because I'm used to be as a buyer. So I've started selling stuff on eBay um, as a, I guess, with all the stuff that I go laying around around the house that I don't use anymore. That's where I start. Um, and then from there, I gradually selling books, um, secondhand books, um, selling, you know, the, the I see it doesn't look like a, uh, um, any value but for some people out there they do see a value to it then after that um, I started also start um, listing stuff from other I guess um, other sellers out there um, like from a retailer so I go around to a retail store and figure out what item that I can actually see at a good value that um, that people can get and that's where how I do it I started from there and then gradually just moving up from you know little um, broken stuff around the house or I don't use anymore around the house into brand new items and then from brand new items I wasn't making much um, I was only making about one or two dollars and then gradually I'm making a lot more higher and higher and now um, you know, on an average item that I sell, uh, we have to make a profit of about ten to fifteen dollars per item. Um, so yeah, and gradually.
gradually moving that up to about twenty dollars an item, twenty, and then higher and higher and higher, obviously. So now, on an average time that I uh, that I invested on on this business, averaging roughly about two hours a day, two or three hours a day. Um, that's just you know, um, yeah. That's just in front of a computer. There's also other things that you you should consider because um, I don't actually have physical product as much. Um, sometimes I actually have to go out there and shop and actually go purchase the item for the consumer, um, packing them up and then send it out. That would be um, you know, th th there's extra time to do that as well. Um, so yeah, that's how I started. I started up with little things. Now, if you're thinking of doing an eBay business these days, number one is search for, look at the stuff that you like um, or you think that you like, and where can you actually get that from, and see if they're listed on eBay. So, for example, let's say if you're looking at um, like shoes, uh, you like a certain um, pair of shoes, then you go to eBay and well, you, you go to whichever retailers um, that actually sell shoes and then see if they actually sell on eBay that's how I would start um, that's how I did my product research and then if it's not there and you know uh, maybe clothing same thing if you like a certain pair of jackets if you go to around um, to retailers see that jacket and look around in eBay and see if they have it for sale um, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised that people willing to buy product without seeing, touching it, um, and yeah, they're just uh, willing to receive it over the post. I was quite amazed, but now um, it doesn't really. Um, I, I was quite surprised in how many people out there willing to do that. Um, and then yeah, and then start considering listing it on your personal account first um, with personal account you can only have about 20 items listed or something a very small amount um, but the only disadvantage of that is there's, there's well there's a lot of disadvantage on a small account but that that's how I started anyway I started up with a personal account listing about up to 20 items on on, on my personal account and look around and see if anyone buys it and then if they do and you look at it okay I was only making ten dollars for that month but I learned the whole entire process of it you learn how to list you learn um, you know how, how to price product you learn how to create the description the title um, the everything else that comes with the eBay business um, you learn you know how to can I optimize that how to, can I actually um, create more sale from it so yeah um, that's how I learned that's how I did it it might be a bit different for some then I look at it as well eBay is a, a volume based a volume store so a different level of your store it has a different level of um, capacity let's say capacity of listing so for example if you're um, like the smallest store account I think it's like $25 per month and you can hit about 600 items um, but the advantage of a store there is a lot more um, you can promote your um, product you, you can actually see the graph um, how many people watching and all that jazz um, there's a lot more advantage of having a store purely um, I think from my understanding anyway uh, this is just coming out of me um, that they would rather work with a seller instead of just an individual person a personal account so they would rather have to work with a, a store let's say like an eBay store um, because obviously as a store you're looking at um, well as a if I was in eBay shoes anyway, so if it's a store, they know like, okay, then you're gonna be selling. So you're gonna be selling a lot of stuff. You're not just a, a casual seller. You're gonna be 
a full time seller, you know, um, and you you try your best to promote my store instead of an individual a one or two item type of people, um, and they try to push you um, to add more stuff, um, to list more items. Um, so yeah, and obviously the more item that you can list, the higher chance that you will have a sale. Now, um, up to at the time that this is recorded, there's roughly just under 600. It's like 580 or something like that. A 580 um, listing in my account um, with that 500. Yeah, about just under 600 listing. So the more item that you have, obviously a higher chance that you can um, sell and higher ch chance of sale, that means pro more profit in your back pocket. So it's a numbers game. Volume, volume, volume. So six, I mean at 600 account, uh, 600 item alone, uh, I'm able to generate about $5,000 profit, let's say. So if I were to go to the next stage, uh, which is, I think it's about 1,500 listing, somewhere around there, um, let's say that double, let's say 1,200 or something. Um, so I'm expecting my, my sale or my profit margin will be double. So now at 5,000 in the 90 days, so I'm expecting at least 10,000 in uh, the next 90 days. If I can list all of that in 90 days or less, <laughs> so yeah. I mean, it's stay tuned. I mean, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll see. You, I'll tell you the progress of it. Um, but yeah, that's how I go about it. Um, how how do I open up an eBay store? I'm sure there's a lot of videos out there, but I'll probably make that one of the next video. Um, but the simple format, you need to have an email address, you need to have an eBay account, um, you need to also have a PayPal account. Um, the rest of them, you can't, you kind of have to maneuver it yourself. There's not a lot of a, um, uh, like an instruction, like you gotta click here, click there, click here. But just over time, I, I found anyway, over, over time, you kind of know the rhythm of it. The rhythm of um, how to create a list and how to create this, how to create that. So, uh, that's from my experience. I just go around, yeah, yeah, I just do a lot of tests and error. But if you're looking at to pursue this full time, which I probably will. Um, among all of the other stuff that I have in hand then yeah it'll be interesting how it looks like so 90 days five thousand uh, dollars profit wise five thousand dollars give or take and I've done fifteen thousand dollars of sales and this is in September 2020 want to know what it looked like based on uh, on top of that 600 listing I say yeah um, so the next stage I want to see what it look like if I have 1200 1200 listing and what challenges would happen and I'm, I'm gonna take you to that journey as well so each step have its own challenges I'm sure and my learning curve and your learning curve will be different so that would be interesting um, we made the we made so far, uh, we made one mistake. One mistake of sending a wrong item to a customer. So that's probably um, in, in 500 list uh, in 500 transactions so far that I've done, um, I posted a wrong item to one customer. So there's an error to make, eh? and there's always an error for an improvement as well. So and that was our fault. That was my. Uh, uh, yeah, that's my fault. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be that hard. To pack an item that customer ordered, but somehow there was a, a, a mistake along the way. Anyway, that's another video. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment. See you guys. Bye.